Ooh, got him. Hook him right here. We have two giant snake heads. He's right on it. He's right on it. He's about to pipe it. He just ate it. Got him. Oh my gosh, guys. Nice. Oh, the freaking grasshopper. Let's go. Sheesh. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Mm. Nothing like a little starves and nature trail to start the day off. Guys, we're over here in North Palm Beach, Florida, and we're at this little canal system right here. The water level is down about 10 feet. I just saw a guy bring his bass boat in and completely turn around. Literally, they closed the boat ramp right over there. But that's okay, we're actually not here to fish today. If you guys are new to the channel, we do a series of strange live bait videos. We've done fishing with live spiders and a ton of other videos. And today, we're gonna walk up and down this nature trail and we're gonna forage for whatever live bait that we can find. So, we have our little yellow bucket here. But we're gonna go ahead, walk down this nature trail and whatever live bait we find, we're gonna put it in this bucket and take it down south and try to catch some giant fish. So guys, come along with me. Let's catch some live bait. All right, guys, so right behind us is this trail, and it goes for literally miles and miles and miles. I've seen some crazy stuff here before. We have to actually be careful because there's a lot of water moccasins and water snakes and alligators that like to sit up on this bank. I've never seen the water level so low here, but we have our live bait container here, and whatever we find, we're gonna throw it in this bucket. Oh my gosh, look at this, bro. Oh my gosh, look at these giant grasshoppers everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh my God, there's so many of them. <gasps> oh my God. We literally found our live bait. We didn't even go on the trail yet. I'm gonna grab one of these. I believe these are called lover grasshoppers. They are probably toxic. Oh my gosh. Look at that grasshopper, guys. Oh man, I wanna, I wanna bring this down south. I bet you we can catch some big bass and snakeheads on this on top water. There's one. I mean, they're just everywhere. Oh, got him. Oh, look at that. Another one. That is crazy. Look at the beautiful colors on him, though. It's another one. Oh, wow. They're all up in these trees. That one is huge. Look at this one climbing on the branch right here. Oh. He's like, no, don't pull me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Got him. Look at that guy. Look how red he is. Oh, my gosh. That's a jumbo one right there. Boom. All right, we got three grasshoppers. We're gonna keep exploring. I don't think there's any shortage of these grasshoppers and I have no idea if they're toxic or what the deal is. So we're gonna do some research. No doubt in my mind, these are gonna get smoked today by some giant fish. So let's go explore. Let's see what else we can find. Guys, we have a cricket right here, and we actually have an alligator, a little alligator sitting on the bank. We're gonna throw this in front of him and see if he eats it. Look at that. Those are its toxins right there coming out of him. You see that? These guys secrete toxins when you pick them up, so we gotta be really careful and wash our hands, but we're gonna throw this in the water and see if something eats it. Look at that cricket on top. Look at the grasshopper. He sees it. <gasps> oh no my way. gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's gonna get it. Oh my gosh, he's gonna eat the grasshopper. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. Oh. Did he get it? No, he's still there. He's, it's right on his nose. Yeah. He's right on his nose. He's gonna go for it. He needs to just move a little bit more. The, the grasshopper knows that if he moves, yeah. he's gonna get eaten. Alright. Guys, watch this. Watch this grasshopper. Oh, here he goes. Is he gonna eat the grasshopper? Is he gonna eat the grasshopper? I wonder if he knows that those are toxic because he's not eating them. When animals have those really bright colors like that, that is a warning sign to other animals. Don't touch me, don't eat me. I will make you sick. And I think that alligator over there knows that. I don't think that's gonna deter fish. So the game plan is we're gonna load up on some more crickets and whatever else we can find along this trail. Then we're gonna go down south to some really good spots of mine. We're gonna walk along the bank and see if we can't sight fish a massive snakehead. With the low water levels, these snakeheads are gonna be all over the bank and it's spawning season for them. So we're gonna go hit up some of my best spots and hopefully catch a giant fish on these toxic crickets. Guys, if you like these finding your own live bait videos, smash that like button right now. But with that being said, we're gonna go catch some more bait and then we're going fishing. Let's go. And we 
we are at the spot, guys. We have our bait bucket. We got our little bait casting combo. This is the Pro TI on the Mach 2 lose rod. By the way, if you want any of the lose stuff, I have a code right here on the screen and link down in the description. So get your lose combos because you already know lose is fire. This spot is infested with these invasive bullseye snakeheads, which are one of my favorite fish to target in freshwater down here in South Florida. Let's get this big guy. Now, I'm not really sure the best way to hook him. We're gonna go ahead and hook him right here in his abdomen. Boom. Just like that, he's squirming on the hook. We're gonna go ahead and walk the bank. Let's see if we can catch a giant snakehead on this grasshopper. Let's go. All right, we're on the way to the spot. Check out all of these iguanas. I actually think one of these people feeds them because all the time I see like watermelon and cantaloupe all over the floor over here. Guys, these iguanas are massive. Hopefully they don't spook any of these snakeheads for us, but South Florida is home to just like that. That is what I was talking about. No bueno when you're fishing. Fun fact, I'm actually allergic to the mango trees, or like the sap that they produce. These mango trees fall, and all the iguanas come and eat the mangoes that fall and rot on the floor. Hopefully we don't have any more iguana encounters because they spook all the fish. We're gonna keep on moving, hopefully find a giant. Let's go. We're hooking a fresh grasshopper on. Here we go. And we have two massive snakeheads. He ate it. He ate it and I lost him. Bro, he came up and, and destroyed the grasshopper. Guys, we're gonna hook another one on. He ate it. Look at all those bubbles coming up. Zoom in on those bubbles. He ate it again. Below the surface, dude. Guys, we just lost the snakehead two times. I can't believe this. I think they're right there. They're still there. Okay. Here they are. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, he's sinking down. He's sinking down. That's what we need. Now, watch this area, guys. If it gets sinking, he's right on it. He's right on it. He's about to fight. He's just ate it. No way. We caught him, baby. Oh my god. No, it's a giant. It's a giant. It's ripping drag. It's ripping drag. Oh my no. gosh, guys. Oh, the freaking grasshopper. Let's go. Let's go. We got to get him up. Oh my God, get me out of, yo, get me that pipe. Dude, that's a giant. Look at his colors, dude. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, here we go, here we go. Death wolf, death wolf. Oh my God, dude. Oh. <laughs> Bro. David, let's go, baby. <laughs> Guys, we just got out to the spot, less than 15 minutes. And all we needed to do was find a spawning pair of snakeheads. Here we go. Beautiful bullseye snakehead on the grasshopper. And the crazy thing is, look at the colors. Orange, blues, yellows. These guys are an invasive species down here in South Florida, and they are one of my favorite fish to catch. Look at that, hook popped out just like that. Beautiful freaking snakehead boys. We're gonna go ahead, snap a picture for Instagram real quick, and then we're gonna release them. Let's go. All right guys, I'd probably put this fish at about six and a half pounds, and that is what he ate right there. A lubber grasshopper. Invasive down here in South Florida using invasive species to catch more invasive species now I get a lot of comments on my videos when I release these fish. Oh, why are you releasing them? They're so harmful to the environment by law You are allowed to release these fish in the same body of water that you caught them in now Let's pretend that there's a lake across the street and I brought this guy over here and put it in the lake that is illegal But we're not breaking any laws beautiful snakehead We're gonna release him and see if we can catch a bigger one. I've caught some fish in here over 10 pounds Massive, massive fish. I'm gonna show you guys why why they call them snakeheads because they swim just like snakes. Watch, get her started and she'll go by herself. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Woo -hoo -hoo. Got me all muddy. There she goes, boys, on the grasshopper, and we're just getting started. We have a lot more efficient to do. Snakehead, snakehead, snakehead. Oh my god. Oh. Little snakehead was sitting right in this dried up puddle. These guys like to tuck themselves in like the shallowest part of the pond all the time. I always see them on the bank. That guy wanted nothing to do with it. It was just a small one anyways, but look at him. He's hugging onto that hook for dear life. I'm sorry, buddy. You're about to get smoked by a giant fish. Oh, oh no, no, no. 
Oh my god. Let's go. Big bass, Let's big bass. Big bass. Second Jeez. species, guys. Bass. I was scared he was gonna swim away, but he murked that on top. Cast to catch on the grasshopper, guys. Beautiful largemouth bass. I mean, look at the colors on that fish. Emerald green. Almost matches the shirt. <laughs> Beautiful fish, guys. Second fish of the day. I definitely wasn't expecting a bass. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and release him. There she goes. Oh my gosh. Second fish of the day, second species, came on the grasshopper. We're gonna keep on walking down and hopefully we find another giant snakehead, but we also have opportunities to catch peacock bass, cichlids. There is a ton of different species out here, so we're gonna keep on fishing. Let's go. Cichlid, he's about to pop it on top. He's about to pop it. He's thinking about it. Yeah. All right, guys, we are now back in Jupiter. Shortly after that last fish catch, the rain just started coming down like crazy. So now we're doing something pretty cool. You haven't seen my giant 220 gallon fish tank in a very long time. It's home to a huge grouper about this big and an eel like that big. So we're gonna go inside, get some bait and hit up the bridge right down the road and see what we can catch to feed my pet fish. I haven't shown you guys in a long time and I was like, you know what? Might as well add on to this video a little bit. But if you guys did enjoy the grasshopper fishing challenge and you'd like to see it again, smash that like button. But let's go up inside and get some bait. Check it out guys. We have all sorts of bait. We have ballyhoo, sardines, clams. Go over here for this blue magic shrimp. Got our bait. Let's go catch some fish. So we're just gonna put a little piece of shrimp on here. It's literally starting to rain right now. All right guys, we might have like five minutes of fishing. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh, we snagged one. This guy is gonna get destroyed. I think that's all the fishing that we're gonna do today. Dude, I really appreciate it. Ethan's hooking us up. Perfect fish trick. Oh yeah, dude, look. Over there, bro, there's like a wall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> we are back in the truck. We probably got like two minutes of fishing in, but we have five fish in the bucket. That's all we need. We're chilling. We're going to uh, drive on home now, and we'll see you guys in front of the giant aquarium. Let's go. All right guys, so we are back at my house. The rain completely stopped. <laughs> like Florida weather is insane. But it is time to feed this massive blue and yellow cod right here. This is a uh, coddy bee, a blue and yellow cod, and this is green bean, the giant green moray eel. Last time you guys saw this aquarium, the fish were a lot smaller. Also, we had another fish in it, which was the panther grouper. He had to be given away because this guy is such a crazy bully. Oh boy. He, he's ready, he's ready. So these fish were given to us by one of the fishermen at the bridge. Oh my gosh, look at this little grunt right here. We're gonna drop him in and see. Oh my gosh, he ate it so fast. It literally came out of my hand and he ate it. Well, he's hungry. That happened so fast. Let's add another guy in there. So this right here. Oh, he jumped out. He jumped out. And we're gonna see what happens. Oh my God. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> double, double fish. He has another fish in his mouth right now. God, look at that. Oh my gosh. This eel just got a, a scent of what's going on. And he's like, hook me up with a live fish. Let's see what happens. Oh, he went that way. Oh, one of, one of, the, one of the fish got out of his mouth. The eel, the eel, the eel. Look, he's coming around the rock. Oh, oh, <laughs> no way, no way, no way. Oh my gosh. You know what? Oh, oh he got it. I, I was, I was not ready for that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Munching it in his little hole right there. All right, guys, so I don't think that these 
fish are gonna eat anymore. They're a little bit freaked out by the light and lots of commotion. But this guy, I guarantee you, as soon as we go upstairs, turn the lights off in the aquarium, the eel's gonna creep up on him and get him probably. I don't think the grouper is gonna get him. But if you enjoy this little feeding portion of the video, be sure to leave me a comment down below so I know that you guys like it. And I'll tell you what, if this video gets 800 likes, and we'll do its own video feeding and maybe even redoing this aquarium. If you guys want some more aquarium videos, definitely drop some comments down below. But with that being said, we will catch you in the next one. Keep on fishing! Get off me!